Zapier is an online tool for automation that helps connect Document 360 with various third-party tools and services. It aims to save you time and increase productivity by automating repetitive tasks and facilitating data exchange between your business applications and provides integration with more than 3,000 applications. Zapier works on the concept of Zaps, which are automated workflows based on triggers and actions. Let's look at a couple of use cases. We'll use GitHub for the first demonstration and Jira for the second. Let's assume we're building a software product using GitHub as a code repository. We have a requirement that whenever we commit code for release, we also need to create relevant release notes in Document 360. We can utilize the power of Zapier to automate this process. Once we're in our Zapier account, search for Document 360. You'll see that Document 360 already provides templates for several services, which makes it very easy to set up the integration. Let's select GitHub. If we look at the details for the Zap, we can see what it does. Whenever a commit is made, which is a trigger, then the action performed will be to create a document. Let's configure Zapier to allow GitHub to talk with Document 360. We'll need to select the repo we wish to use and the branch to pull commits from. So now we have Zapier talking with GitHub. Next, Zapier will help us connect a Document360 account. For this step, we'll need to generate an API token in Document360, which can be found under Settings, Extensions, and Team Collaboration. Let's copy the token, and back in Zapier, enter the generated key here. And we've now successfully configured Zapier to exchange data between GitHub and Document360. Now we can set up how we want the data exchange to actually happen. Let's map the title to release version and the content to commit message. On the next screen, we can choose the category within the knowledge base where the article will be created. Let's select release notes. Next, Zapier will perform a test to see if the Zap is functioning as expected. If the test runs successfully and we go to our Document360 project, we should be able to see the test article under the release notes category. The last step is to turn on our Zap. Let's see the Zap in action. Back in GitHub, we are ready to commit changes to the latest release version. Once the step executes, we can see in our Zapier dashboard that a successful Zap has run. We also find the article automatically added to the release notes category, and our editors can make further modifications and publish the article. Now let's look at a second example using Jira, which is a help desk tool. Imagine we're using Jira to provide customer support and resolving customer queries through our Document360 knowledge base. However, whenever a support ticket is raised for which there are no existing articles in our knowledge base, which will be the trigger, we would like to create one. This will be the action. Zapier can help us get this done. Just like with the previous GitHub example, Document360 has already provided a template for Jira, and we can begin setting up the Zap. First, we'll connect a Jira account to Zapier. Next, select the Jira site and project we wish to work with, and Zapier will then establish the connection. Here, we'll need to provide the API token from our Document360 project so Zapier can connect to our Document360 account. Now we can tell Zapier how we want the data exchange to happen. We want the title mapped to the field summary in Jira and the content mapped to fields description content text. Next, let's choose a category for these articles in our Document360 project. Zapier will then run a test to see if the Zap is working as intended. If we look at a Document360 project under the category we specified, we should see the support ticket from Jira as an article. Back in Zapier, we can turn on the Zap. To see the Zap at work, let's create a support ticket in Jira under the project we just configured. Once the ticket is raised, we should see a successful Zap run on the Zapier dashboard. And the Zap would have also created an article under the category we specified. In conclusion, utilizing the power of Zapier with Document360 can benefit you by saving time and boosting productivity. And with the various Zap templates provided by Document360, you can share your knowledge base articles with other platforms and easily automate tasks from your help desk tools.